ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை சேனல் டெஸ்டிங் மெனி பைட்ஸ் ஐ எம் யுவர் ஃப்ரெண்ட் அமுதன் சக்திவேல் அண்ட் யூ நோ டுடே வி வில் கெட் ஸ்டார்டட் வித் கிரியேட்டிங் அவர் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் செட் ஆஃப் கோட் ஓகே ஃபார் தேட் ஐ ஒன் ஐ நோ யூஸ் எக்ளிப்ஸ் ஐடி யூ கேன் யூஸ் வாட் ஆஃப் த ஐடி யூ விஷ் யா லெட்ஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கிரியேட் யூ நோ மேவன் ப்ராஜெக்ட் ஸோ நோட் கோ நோ யூஸ் ஜாவா ப்ராஜெக்ட் ஸோ லெட் மீ குவிக்லி கிரியேட் அ மேவன் ப்ராஜெக்ட் ஓகே கிளிக் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் திங் ஓகே திஸ் வில் ஹெல்ப் அஸ் டு கிரியேட் அ வெரி சிம்பிள் மேவன் டெம்ப்ளேட் ஓகே so it, it it's enough for us okay now i want to choose a group id and artifact id for my maven project again we normally don't know what it is so let me try to give a quick explanation so let me uh, you know i have went to uh, went to this maven repository central repo and noticed you know that uh, searched for the selenium hq uh, selenium java file if you notice the group id they have mentioned as org. open open hq. selenium which means this is the you know the company or the community that is developing it okay even if you go and search for another jar file they it will if you go and search for test ng it has org dot test ng which means this is the community that is developing that so in our case there is no community it is me who is developing it so uh, in your case it may be your company name org dot amazon dot whatever project you are working for maybe you can give like that but in in my case okay mm, it's it's going to be very simple so it's org dot uh, testing mini bytes okay so you, you can give you know your so what is the artifact id the artifact id needs to clearly explain what this artifact is all about okay since they have developed this for selenium java they have named it as like this if for test ng they have used uh, you know uh, test ng because it, the artifact id ne- clearly needs to tell what it is all about right so so if you even notice this they have a you know six lot of versions again the version is 6.14.3 and the artifact id is test ng which clearly tells the you know this artifact is all about test ng the unit testing framework in java so in our case we going to create some artifact for selenium automation framework right so i can create like this selenium automation framework okay you can give some names like this and click on finish it will take a few seconds for you to create the project okay that's okay we'll give that time i have noticed we have uh, you know eclipse have created as a template for us okay if you if you clearly notice uh, there is four folders mainly src main java src main resources src test java and test resources uh, you know uh, let me first explain you what are all things uh, you know why we are using this particular template okay uh, before automation picks up you know there are people uh, from java development they they are using this maven structure For, they 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 will try to keep all the code that they are going to push to the production here src main java so what are the code that needs to run a website okay they will keep it here and what are the code that you need, you know what are the files or you know resources that you need to run the code in production suppose your configuration files the property files or your yaml files or whatever the files that they need to run the code in production the resources okay uh, they will keep it in the src main resource and in the src test java they used to have all their unit testing code okay previously they used to write it in j unit now people started using test ng so the test you know the, the src test java is mainly for you know keeping their uh, unit testing code src test resources is like whatever the resources they need to run the unit test okay so they will try to keep it in the src test resources okay so it may be your excel files or your property files or yaml files or json files whatever it is but whatever the resources that you need to run the test will be kept in the src test resources now as an automation engineers we also started picking up maven because it has a lot of cool features than the normal java project so so we just customized to our own uh, you know needs so what we we did so instead of writing our unit testing or test ng code we started to write our regression suite or you know basically our automation test cases in the src test java and we will also try to adapt uh, this particular src test resources to keep our excel files the uh, the driver executables which we need to run the you know chrome browser or all of the stuff okay we our extend configurations or the property files you know everything we will try to keep it in the src test resource and in the src main java we will try to keep all the things that are not related to the testing okay whatever the suppose we are writing some test in src test java the driver initialization maybe your you know utilities to take a screenshot uh, 
the utilities to read an excel file you know to to initialize the driver to keep you know to for your reporting purpose your listeners all the stuff we will be keeping in the src main java so far we don't uh, we are not making any production ready code so so we may not be using this src main resource so when the developers used to ship their code they will only ship src main java and src resource main resources they will neglect these two things while shipping their code to production okay so we will we will follow the same uh, you know uh, Uh, convention uh, how uh, industry is using and we will try to create our first test okay let me quickly create a package let me go here and quickly create a package again the problem is i don't know how to create a package so i don't know what is the naming convention i need to use so what i did uh, you know before that before that before that we need to add the maven dependencies so that we can work with it okay so let me quickly create a dependency tag okay dependency tag and let me quickly add these two dependencies one is test ng copy it and paste it here and another one is selenium java okay let's go here and add the so the latest version is 4 it's in alpha still so i am going for their most stable version okay copy this and add it here control a and control i for the alignment okay and then save the file so once you save the file you know you should see all your uh, uh, you know dependencies should get downloaded to the uh, this particular thing again you might not want to restrict yourself to this particular scope you can remove this okay it doesn't matter good so once you do this uh, if if you are see, see, seeing some error maybe right click on your project okay and then click on uh, maven okay and then update the project okay so that all the effect all the new changes can take effect it may take a few seconds i just wait for that yeah and if you notice we 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 have this uh, uh, test ng and jar files you know everything here so we want to create the framework right so uh, we will go here okay let's see how they have created their uh, uh, packages if you notice the org dot uh, test ng is a package right see the naming convention they have used their uh, company you know or their community name so and the annotations at the end clearly tells all the classes that are related to the annotation will be kept in this particular package okay so we going to use the same uh, you know convention so if you also notice they have some uh, collections okay so all the things related to the internal collections they keep keep in this particular package so your package name first should contain the community or uh, company that is developing it and it also needs to contain the you know uh, uh, detail about what are all the classes that it can hold okay so in our case let me quickly create it as uh, uh you can use org dot or i am you can you also use com dot and in my case testing many bytes i am using tmb and you can use whatever you want and i am going to hold all the test cases related here, uh, you know stuff here so i can put it as test cases or i can use it as tests i just closed and opened my you know eclipse so all the errors are gone now so yeah you don't have to worry much let me close all these things and we have created the package now right so let's get started to create our first test okay class file again uh, the name you know you can follow some name convention but for now i'll i'll keep it as login page test because i don't want to deal something about login page test so yeah let's create the first class file okay and now i'm going to create a very simple you know class uh, method test method public void uh, let me name it as test one for now we will change the names later and if you notice we are we will try to import the annotations from uh, test ng okay let me import it and you can also use shortcut if you want to use control shift to you can also use that in eclipse id again we want to go, you know first start the chrome browser right so so what we will do we'll set the uh, system properties and we'll use the driver dot chrome dot driver and we'll also give the chrome driver location again i don't know where the chrome driver location is so so in in my case my you know chrome is uh, chrome version is 87 so what i've done i have downloaded the you know the corresponding chrome version so if you notice it is 87 so what i've done i went to this particular website 
okay and I downloaded the 87 version okay so it's already there in another project so let me quickly you know copy it from there okay i don't want to waste much time so and then i'll keep it in i can keep it in my project folder okay i can keep it here i can keep it in src main resource but the, again i told since this is the resource this is one of the resource that is needed to run your uh, tests so so we already told it should be in the src test resource this is one of our thumb rule right we need to keep the right thing at the right place so what i'm going to do i can directly paste it here but the thing is there may be a, you know uh, in the future i may add more executables i may add excel sheets so i don't want to you know club every them everything together so what i'm going to do i am going to create a separate folder for this to maintain all the executables okay to maintain the gecko driver and all the stuff okay so i have created a folder and let me paste it here Okay, 